around me. Guys, what's going on? Coach Ian Tatum, co-offensive coordinator, offensive line coach at Walker Tower High School here in North Carolina. Uh, today's video is a little different from what we've been doing. I uh, had a real overwhelming response to what the guys wanted me to do next. And uh, the next thing was, is talk about my everyday drills and fundamentals as an offensive line coach. <clears throat> so I was gonna do that right now. Uh, <clears throat> I think you have to have everyday drills. Uh, you have to have them set up. You gotta be very consistent with it. And you can change things in and out with, with what you do uh, with your drills and stuff like that. But try to stay consistent. Um, so right now I have eight drills on the board uh, and I will try to do as many as I can throughout the week. You can't do them every day, but you need to do it at least majority of these if time allows throughout the week um you pick four pick five of them mix them up to get them through each day and you need to make sure you're doing enough reps of each one of them uh just working on fundamentals so uh, i have them broken up i run and pass um let's go through the run real quick stance and start that is that is a non-negotiable that is number one thing we're going to do stance and start we're gonna work on two point stance Three-point stance uh, every day. We're going to work on you know proper stance, whether it be you know three-point stance. Make sure we're not have too much weight forward, not weight too much weight back. Make sure we have a uh, good knee bend, good Z, Z's all over the place, uh, in, in our bend, okay, and hand on the ground, head up, butt down, all those things that we all know how to coach stance, right? Uh, same thing with two-point stance. But uh, when I teach two-point stance, we are low. Like, you cannot be in a two-point stance for me unless you're not low. Um, I've heard it called, you know, like a gorilla stance. But I want it to be a, a three-point stance, but with your hand off the ground. Like, you are that low. Get ready to fall, fly high off the ball, okay? So stance and starts. Starts as we're, going, we're running, right? We are in our stance, and we are flying off the ball. I blow the whistle. We are gone, right? And that, that is just firing out, making sure we can get – going really fast, okay? So that stance and starts, real simple. Number two, we're gonna go on boards, okay? If you don't have boards, I highly recommend getting boards. Um, we do several different board drills. Um, we do straddle the board, we duck walk down. Uh, we do right foot and left foot on the board and we work zone steps. Uh, we'll slant the board and work on outside zone steps or reaching steps, uh, arc steps as well. Okay, and we do it under the shoot. Now, I'm not, I'm not gonna sit there and, and be the Twitter guy that says, oh, shoots are terrible. Get, get you guys under the shoot. It keeps them low, okay? It does, all right? So if you're gonna be the one to argue about shoots, holla at me in the comments because I wanna hear about why you don't like shoots. It, it's a great tool, it keeps your guys low, play, play with great leverage. Now, I'm not, I'm not gonna do double teams under the shoot and then you got guys popping up and hitting their head not doing that stuff but get them under the shoot by themselves i mean you can work on working a double team but they're just getting shoulder to shoulder hip to hip and firing out that's different but i will put two or one guys underneath the shoot and work on our steps keep them low make sure they can bend but not bend over at the waist uh bend their knees and, and stuff like that i'll put them in the shoot number three i'll work on a hand striking drill okay especially early on um this one probably won't make it through the whole season uh, but first, early on when we have shields, we can't really hit each other in North Carolina, especially in the beginning. Um, we'll have the hand shields. Uh, I know a lot of hand shields are a taboo. Crime River. We get the hand shields, make sure we got our guy holding the hand shield on through the shield. And then I teach uh, violent hands, violent block. So if we have to grab and squeeze the bag, I'm teaching them striking. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze the bag. So we're gonna squeeze our opponent wherever we can okay you can grab contrary to popular belief defensive coaches we can grab okay as long as it's on the inside so i teach grabbing i teach grip okay so we work on that we're also working uh striking um uh the pad or striking uh when we get pads on striking our teammates okay working on one and two hands two at the same time working on striking make sure we're, we're, we're tying up our strikes with our steps okay bringing it all together okay and then um, work on downs and pulls. We are a predominantly gap scheme team, so we will work on the fundamentals of a down block, fundamentals of our double teams. Do I didn't put double teams on here because double teams are an everyday thing. Zone and gap double teams. Zone double teams working vertical to an on linebacker, uh, 
and then got double teams working to an off or backside linebacker. So uh, downs, we can put doubles and pulls. Okay, we'll trap pull, we'll skip pull. Uh, we will we'll do that. We have drills for those. Um, and there's there's multiple drills within these categories. Those are the ones you can kind of mess around with, okay? And once you guys know them, they can fly right through them, right? So we'll work down blocks, work our double teams, climb to linebackers, and we'll work our pulls, traps, and skips, okay? So that's kind of the run game. That's just real base. There's a lot of different other stuff you can do with this stuff. This is just kind of where we start at. Pass, okay? With pass, we'll work on drive catch. I'll put kick slide on here. However you call it, I don't care. Get to your spot. We're going to drive catch or kick slide, okay, to a spot. We're going to set on uh, defensive lineman, okay? We're working that. Uh, how to do that, staying square, chest up, you know, we're kicking or we're driving and sliding, okay? Teach them that stuff because pass blocking is not natural, okay? So we have to make sure we break it down and actually show them how to do that, right? Um, it was a three-punch drill. Uh, I really like it. I used to do it when I was at Gardner Webb under Coach Kitty Ray. Uh, basically, you're striking a guy to your right, you sit back to the left, and then you, you sit down and you drive on a, on a linebacker coming down, rolling your hips through. I really like that drill. Kids hate it, but you know it's getting them reaction time. Set here, set here, and then drive through the middle. Uh, and then something you can get through and get reps at, okay? Um, Next one, uh, on the line. I caught on the line. Uh, basically, I have them put their right foot. I start with the right foot first. Right foot, final line. All of them side by side, shoulder to shoulder. Right foot on the line, and then we set. Okay, I'll go I'll go one set, two set, three set, and I'll go two, and then redirect. Okay, whether or not uh, a defensive end or D lineman uh, is going outside, then it goes back inside on you. Well, you got to be able to set and then redirect. Okay, and how I teach that is we set twice. Okay, and they go inside, get your hands on them. It's a drive block now, okay? Now all this is a down block now. When they redirect, the ball should be gone. We are drive blocking them back towards where they came from, right? Or where they want to go. Drive blocking back down. Okay, and now go left foot on the line and we'll go one, two, three, two redirect. Okay. We'll also do a zero set, okay, which is your left foot's on the on the line, your right foot's back, it's an inside step. That's all it is. It's a power step, okay? So we'll do all those. That's on the line. And then we'll do one-on-ones. Do one-on-ones, okay? I just got on Twitter talking about these camps where kids don't have pads on. Hey, you can do one-on-ones with pads, okay? You can go a full five line. Your five guys, there, four or three. I don't recommend that. I'll go one at a time. Uh, usually it's two versus one. If it's a tackle on a five technique, I have the tackle set on the five technique and the guard is protecting his inside hip just so there's no easy, cheap inside moves by the defensive lineman. Um, and then make it a competition. Put a put a dummy back there and let the defensive lineman bend around and try to tackle it and uh, get a sack. And we try to protect it, right? And then we we, we hustle and turn my and turn my my radio off. And then we were running back to the line of scrimmage. So uh, other than that, guys, that's my everyday drills. I'm Coach Ian Tatum. I appreciate all the, the love and support on the channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more. And uh, until we get back into football and spring ball. Let's go win a state championship. Everything around me.